What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 221,002 examination. So let's get into it. In this video, we're going to briefly talk about some common symptoms and solutions for Microsoft Windows operating system problems. All right, so the first thing you may come across is slow system performance. So plenty of issues can cause slow performance in Windows and below are some of the possible reasons along with some of the solutions. Now, there are just too many issues and solutions to go through in this video. So I've put together these nice little charts here, outlining some of the most common symptoms and some of the common solutions that you all can go through at your own leisure. I go on to my website, technologyg.com, where this video will be posted. In addition to that, here are some that pertain to Linux. And in addition to that, here are some that pertain to Mac as well. So once again, go to my website, technologyg.com, look for this video and you will see these wonderful charts so that you can look at them at your own leisure. All right, let's talk about limited connectivity and local connectivity. So in Windows 7, if you see a yellow explanation point symbol or in Windows 10, if you see a red X icon next to the network icon in the taskbar, that indicates that there is a limited connectivity to the network, meaning that the internet cannot be reached. This is also known as local connectivity. If you see these symbols, the first thing you wanna do is to check for connectivity on other devices and if the other devices cannot connect, you want to go ahead and do the following. So in Windows 7, you want to open up the network and sharing center and then click the red X in the Internet Connect dialog. This will launch the Internet Troubleshooter. Do you want to proceed to follow the recommendations? In Windows 8 and 8.1, you want to click search to locate and begin the Internet Troubleshooter. Then go ahead and follow the recommendations. In Windows 10, you want to click the network icon in the taskbar to open up the network status window. And then once again, go ahead and follow the troubleshooting recommendations. Now, if there are connection issues with the operating system, you wanna turn off the modem, the router, or the access device for a few minutes, then turn it back on. In most instances, this will resolve the problem. If not, you may need to contact your ISP as this might indicate that there is a bigger issue beyond your local area network. Let's talk about a failure to boot. So a boot failure, this is the inability to locate and or read the operating system from the designated disk. This can be caused by incorrect boot configurations in the BIOS, corrupt or missing boot files and missing driver files. Different operating systems, they will have different solutions for this type of problem. Let's talk about Windows boot error. So Windows uses the BCD or the boot configuration data file and the BOOTMGR, the boot manager, which stands for Windows boot manager during the startup process. And if these files are corrupted or missing, the following error messages will be displayed. So the first one you'll see is boot manager is missing. So if the boot manager is missing or is corrupt, this message will appear. The black screen may also say to press control, alt, delete, plus restart. However, doing so may not necessarily fix the issue. Another thing that you might see it says is the Windows boot configuration data file is missing required information. This message means that either the boot manager entry is not present in the BCD store or that the boot slash BCD file on the active partition is damaged or missing. Now, two ways to repair a missing boot manager file is as follows. So you can boot to the system recovery options and then select startup repair. This should repair the system and require a system reboot. To access the options in Windows 7, you would restart the computer and hold the F8 key before the window logo appears. In Windows 8 and 10, you wanna locate the advanced startup settings menu. The other option is boot to the system recovery options, and then you would select the command prompt option and then you will go ahead and type boot rec forward slash fix boot command. Let's talk about Linux boot errors. So if Linux will not start normally, you wanna hold down the shift key while starting the system. If the grub or the grub to bootloader appears, you wanna select rescue or recovery to load a minimal version of Linux. With some distributions, you might need to select advance before you can select a recovery option. 
Now, from the recovery menu, you might be offered a variety of options to fix your system, such as resume. This will allow for you to continue the normal boot process. You might have the option clean. This will free up space on your file system, and you would use this if the disk is almost full. You might have an option that says DPKG. This repairs broken software. You want to use this if the software installation has failed. You might have fail safe X. This enables the system to boot to a GUI. You might have grub. This up updates the grub bootloader. You might see network. This enables networking, which is turned off in recovery mode. You might have root. This opens systems in read and write root shell mode. And then you might have system summary. And this displays information about the system. Let's talk about some Mac boot error. So to launch a special startup modes in Mac OS, you want to press command plus R. As soon as the startup sound displays, then you want to continue pressing until you are prompted to select a language. Then go ahead and select your language and the Mac OS utilities menu will appear. And the following options will appear. Once that happens, you'll have restore from time machine backup. So if a backup exists and you wish to restore it, you want to roll up that option. You'll have reinstall Mac OS. OS. So if a new version of Mac OS is available, go ahead and roll with that option. You have get help online so you can open online help and remote diagnostic options from that option. And then you have disk utility. You want to select this option to repair problems with hard drives. Now to boot from a different partition than usual, such as a boot camp partition, you want to start up your Mac system and hold down the alt or option key until a list of bootable drives appears. And then you want to go ahead and select the drive that you wish to use. And finally, let's talk about other symptoms and common solutions. So other symptoms and solutions that are related to the A plus core two objectives that can be found in 3.1 are listed below. Now, once again, being that we're dealing with Windows here, there could be a myriad of issues that are taking place out there. These are just some of the most common ones with some of the most common solutions that you all should study up on. And once again, this chart will be available on my website, Technology G, where this video will be posted. All right. So in summary, we just quickly went over some of the common symptoms and solutions in Microsoft Windows operating systems. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead and hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 221002 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, Peace.